friend of me, any me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Friend of me, friend of me, any me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury from Elite Luxury and today I'm interviewing Tim Wright. Tim Wright from TimWright.com and the Tim Wright YouTube channel. Welcome. And Mike. Tim, I wanted to talk to you today. I wanted to talk to you today um, about a few a few little things here. We're talking luxury goods, luxury. Um, I wanted to ask you this. With high-end items, we're talking for a lady, Birkins or Hermes bags, even Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Is it appropriate to bring these things into the workplace? Ooh. What do you think? And, and, and even an expensive watch or a Cartier ring or a Cartier earrings or a necklace, is it appropriate to bring these into the workplace what what do you think tim wow that's a hard question and a surprise Whew. i i think the watch no problem because most people they do not know watches like people have mm -hmm. no idea what's going on mm -hmm. like uh my wife so she wears the yacht master mm -hmm. uh rhodium uh, dial mm -hmm. to her work mm -hmm. only a doctor that wears a two-tone submariner knows that she has a rolex mm. that's you know, it's even though it is on the flashier side of rolex that yacht master mm -hmm. still and i think you will put up an image of what that watch looks like nobody mm -hmm. knows mm -hmm. nobody knows mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now with the bags because they got the printing especially like mm -hmm. the really loud ones like lv 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 print mm -hmm. lv i think is still acceptable because mm -hmm. it is expensive, but it's not impossible. But where is mm -hmm. like a Birkin that well, it's gonna get stolen at work? It's just mm -hmm. gonna. There's no. There's no chance. I think it, it, that's that's the that's the worries. But also, that's not what they were kind of designed for, right? <laughs> Bringing it to work. Mm. It's for like night out or something. I, I got to tell you, Tim, <clears throat> do you know why women, do you know why men buy jewelry for women or buy fancy bags or fancy clothes? Do you know why they do that? Mm, there could be two reasons. Mm -hmm. One is to be able to buy watches for themselves if they're on, mm -hmm. <laughs> if they're on some kind of waiting list and mm -hmm. they want to mm -hmm. build up relationship with their AD, but mm -hmm. also to sleep with them, I think it's... No, of course, of the, course. That's the as, as Aristotle Onassis, Aristotle mm -hmm. Onassis was the billionaire who married Jacqueline Kennedy after John F. Kennedy um, was assassinated. As Aristotle Onassis said, once said, if it wasn't for women, money would have absolutely no meaning. Which I thought was an interesting quote there. <laughs> and the, the whole reason, okay, you think about it. Okay, so you give gifts to get favors from women, okay? Yeah. Whether it's your wife or girlfriend or whatever. You want to buy favors, okay? Like you, you want to win her attention. Uh, you want to win... This is not this is not a gold digging and I'm not talking about that. Yeah. This is to win her affections, okay? Yeah. The other thing that giving a woman expensive things does mm. is it tells the other men there, "Oh, if I want to steal this woman, I'm going to have to spend more on her than she's already getting like that doctor he saw the watch and said shit what does her husband do wow she would know he's not a cab driver 
less likely to be a cab driver or delivering food. He's mm. probably a banker or whatever, or a Man. YouTube, a major YouTube influencer. You, you know what I'm saying? That's don't a you? really good point. Wow. And that's the reason men give these gifts is so that other men see it and say, shit, too expensive. <laughs> Because I, I got to tell you this, the, the yeah. real truth is, you know, with men, we are programmed. I'm sorry to tell you this, Tim. <clears throat> when we look at a woman, mm. when we see a woman every day mm. in our mental psyche, we just have two questions. Yes or no. Would you sleep with her or wouldn't you sleep? Yes or no. Yes, no. Yes, no. <laughs> yeah. And then you see a woman who's carrying like a, a Chanel flap bag <clears throat> and a Cartier watch. You think, oh, yeah. expensive. No chance. No, no chance. chance. Exactly right. Skip. And that's the whole thing, Tim. This is the that's whole reason we, we give these these things is to is to signify ownership. And Damn. to signify that to signify that she is taken. Yeah, that's really, you know, I never thought of that. But when you say, when you say it like that, I can go back in time and think of, you know, when I, when I'm going through city and, you know, it does, the brain does kind of skip over. You see a woman mm. with the mm. yellow gold Daytona. Mm. And let me, let me just, just say okay. this to you. Let me just say this to you too. Think of it this way. I've got a few gifts from ladies over the years. Mm. My wife, look. We've been struggling. Like I, I manage most of the money because we've got investment property. We've got so you know we, we, it's not mm -hmm. like we have thousands left over. But my wife has bought me gifts. And this mm. is an interesting thing. What does a woman buy you as a gift, right? Mm. And my wife has bought me on many times fragrances. Mm. Okay, so when we were going out together, I remember for my first birthday together. Yeah, she got me. Cartier Santos. Oh. The aftershave. Oh. All right. Very nice. And I remember a couple of years later, we had a bit of a fight and we patched things up. She got me the Versace. You know, that, that, that bottle I sh was, you know, that, that, that blue, that, that, that bottle I showed you, the Versace. She gave that to me as a gift. Wow. Why would she do that? I'll tell you why. Because when you wear that fragrance, it's like a dog marking its scent she's taking ownership of you do you see what i mean wow and that's wow. how special these gifts can be and this is the thing this is the whole thing in the lux area i wanted to make this point mm. okay so, so let's say for me or you right like let's be honest tim's actually got quite a beautiful rolex collection he's a classy guy you might want to give a gift to me or to Tim. And you think, oh, geez, I, I don't have the money to buy another Rolex for him because that's thousands of dollars. But there are so many classy gifts that are nowhere near that price range. Oh, yeah. For example, someone who loves quality stuff, you could get him a fragrance. Yes. You could get him... The, the other thing you could do, Chanel, Blue de Chanel. I've actually Blue got Chanel. that. That I've actually beautiful. got wearing that myself. Too. Beautiful, go. beautiful. Expensive. Chanel's put their prices up. Did you see that? Oh, no. I didn't see any prices. In no. Australia, the prices have gone up like 30%. It's crazy. <laughs> and they don't they don't discount. No, no discount. <laughs> that's why, no, no, that's no. why I, told, I told like a lot of people, I told them like, hey, fragrance is actually good investment. If you don't, if you have a few and you don't use them, it goes up in, in, in value. I got to tell you, the other thing is you can give, like if you're a Rolex person, you can give books mm. like Rolex, you know, these are books on Rolex or books on Patek or, oh yeah, there's so many gifts that you can give that don't cost thousands of dollars, but are still very classy. And they keep their value as well. Those Rolex books ah, really hold their value. They it, do. It they come out up. of, look, when they're out of print. They become crazy priced. And it's like this, a topic on a luxury item. They're already for rich people. Yeah. 
and when it's out of print, another rich person who's in that hobby really wants it and they will yeah. pay to get it. Oh yeah. Tim, I'm going to wrap this show up here. This is another great program. Tim, I want to thank you. Thank you for coming on here. This is Elite Luxury, your one-stop place talking luxury goods, mainly with a feminine twist. Mm. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Great vid, Arch. It's a good vid, isn't it, hey? Yeah, it's great stuff. Okay, we'll do one more, then we can leave for the day, okay? All right. Okay. Here we go. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury on Elite Luxury, the great source for information on all things luxury goods for the ladies. Mm. Tim, I want to talk to you. Birkins, Hermes, and I want to talk to you appropriate gifts for women. Mm. And I, I've got to be honest with you. I think for most of our audience here, they're, they're middle class, lower middle class to mid, upper middle class audience. Yes. I think there's an age appropriate thing. And um, for example, if you were dating somebody, it's you normally wouldn't give them like a Birkin. That's normally a wedding right. or a milestone gift. You may give them, say, a, a Louis Vuitton coin purse. Yes. Beautiful. When do you think you should give a woman a broken? It's got to be some kind of a... Like it could be like a 30th or a 40th birthday, 40th birth, probably 40th because in your 30s, it's money's still tight. Yeah, it's you're still working up because that money, if you save it, it will grow. 50th birthday, so 50th? 50th, I think by 50th, she should already have a bird. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what would you, what would you say then? What's the answer? Man, I think if you're still young, mm -hmm. um, and if you like Hermes designs, I personally, I think I would start trying to build some kind of relationship. If you're you mean 30. Get yourself a tie. Get yourself foot in the door. I don't really know whether I think it's worth even playing the Hermes games. It's I've got to be honest. Hard. It's hard. I mean, I think it, you're, it, you're better it, off just to buy pre-owned. A consign, you know, a, a luxury pre-owned store. I think is yeah. you're wasting your time. That's why I playing. say you're you're if you're gonna do it this way, this mm. is a twenty-year plan. Mm. There's just no no way around. You're not gonna get it in, if you if you have very limited patience, then it's not worth it. Definitely don't don't even bother. What Tim is talking about is buying it through the store because it's a scarcity marketing. They're not available. Yeah. Tell me this: Do you think giving a pre-owned Birkin to a woman still has the kudos? Because you can't buy yeah. a Birkin. It's like no, a Rolex. Definitely. You can't it's go. As good. It's just as good. It's what like do you think? buying a vintage Rolex for someone. I would love a, a vintage, vintage Rolex. Rolex. 10, 20 yeah. years. I don't care how old. Well, yeah. more than 20. They get so expensive. But Yes, 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 yes. Doesn't matter. So tell me this. Okay, so basically there's some really good. In America, you've got stores like fashion file that they're, they're a huge yogi's closet there's some amazing in, in I'm, I'm in australia we've we've mm -hmm. got limited i use a consignment store designer archives there there are really that's who i bought the two birkins from Oof. tell me this when do you do you see yourself buying a birkin for your wife Actually, I see myself buying a Birkin for for us to share, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> I would love yes. a Birkin. Um, yes. Actually, I spoke with my wife about a Birkin. She's yes, telling me she doesn't want it, but I don't buy. I don't buy that. Maybe a Kelly then instead of a Birkin. Did, did, maybe well, she doesn't like. I got her the Chanel purse. Uh, oh, the Ke kind of... um, they're expensive. They're ex yeah, it was it was actually when we got it, it was five thousands oh you got a classic flap you got a yes, classic, classic flap. flap yes 
That's that, 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 that's an icon. They're about in my country. They're ten thousand dollars, about seven thousand US. Yeah, they that, went that, up that's in price. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. What color? Black. Ah, classic with the gold Smooth. chain. Yes. The lambskin, lambskin. Yeah. Soft. Amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. So she has that. So that's a beautiful piece. Kind of, she's feel, and you know, uh, let me just show you something. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. So, and then a couple of months ago, uh, oh, a goyard, the goyard, goyard. Yeah. Just, uh, that's that's simple. like goyards, that's equivalent to the Neverfull, but it's more right. expensive, right? It's uh, they're like three thousand dollars, aren't they? I think it was uh, close to that, two, close to that, yeah, so they, two they, something, two, yeah, I think you're right, uh, Aussie dollars, yeah. about three something, but um, does she like the goyard? She loves the gourd, yeah. She, you, it's you so wouldn't light. get. It. What stopped her getting a, an LV? Because they have the never full. Which yeah, doesn't like LV. my mom has my mom has the LV, and yeah. she bought LV for her sister. Yeah, and it's just too much the same. And mm -hmm. she actually she wants a different kind of LV. She wants uh, something uh, something different. She she liked this one because it's this one's got a little bit more detail to it than mm -hmm. the LV the never full. Yes. Yeah. What's well, a different price point? Price different point price slightly. Point, yeah. And so, do do you see getting another luxury bag for her? Like, I suppose you've already bought the statement bag. You bought the Chanel. I mean, let's be completely frank there. How many, how many bags do you buy, your lady? See, I got to be totally honest with you. Um, and I'm not joking. Okay. Mm. I put a lot of effort into becoming the YouTube celebrity. Okay. I know I, I know. joke around and, and this, but basically in 2009, I started my YouTube channel Ten and then I decided, years. right, no, More. no friends. I, well, I, I didn't hate friends, but I said, right, I'm going to just going to work on this because yeah. I, I enjoyed it too. I, I yeah. made videos, made videos. I actually lost jobs because I was caught <laughs> doing video work when I should have been working. Well, okay, I think you just... started before, before you can even get paid doing this. It was my first paycheck motivated me. No, no, no. It was always the money. It was always <laughs> when the first money came, then I got hooked. How much was the and, first money? Oh, well, at then it was about $150, but you had to wait because it took two months for Ooh. it to build up to a hunt over the hundred threshold because oh, they didn't yeah. pay you. And what happened was, you know, my annual calendar. Yeah. I decided to use my Google payment. Mm to make payments on my annual calendar. That's how come I refinanced the car for, for my channel. I just sacrificed. At wow. one stage, I owed 87,000 Aussie dollars. Okay, so that's about 70,000, 65 US because I had bought luxury goods on credit Wow. to have content. Right. See, there's, there's yes. no good talking about watches when you've got one Seiko I and you've got no one roll. already. No, but but do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah no, definitely. So, so I needed a brain. I had suitcases. I had this. I had that. Boom, 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 boom. Now, it's harder now because people already have that. But when I was doing YouTube started, no one had exorbitant collections. Right. When I say exorbitant, exorbitant for a lower middle class person, okay? And for me, this was the business model. I invested in myself. I bought yeah. these things. I never worried about the debt because I bought all of it pre-owned yes. okay i knew i was yes. pretty cagey buyer okay let's not really be stuff, too yeah. stupid here the reality is tim i invested in the business mm. i was making videos mm. and I, I i kid you not okay okay I, i'll be honest with you i am a millionaire okay <laughs> okay me and the wife are sorry me and the wife together our net worth is over a million australian dollars oh yeah Okay, it's about one point three. Okay, if you want work. me to tell you the truth, it's one point three. Okay? <laughs> nice, very nice. Okay, because we've had some real estate rises, our four hundred one ks have gone up. Yeah. Okay, but I'm just telling you the story. And what I did is, I didn't even have curtains in my bedroom. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> that because what I did was, all my money went into buying more watches. Yeah. I, I, I the house got run down. Okay. Mm. And then what happened is, once I got the income coming yes i start i'm renovating the, the house is in the progress it's it's all been painted in it's inside is done actually 
Mm. I've just put ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I put ten thousand dollars worth of screens, security screens. Now I'm doing wow. security upgrades. I've, I've mm. just done Crim Safe, which is a very it's a, it's hard to get into. I oh, got, you need uh, that. You need that. Yeah. You, you need. I don't keep my jewelry and stuff at home. Right. Occasionally I do, but most well, of it's not there. I can see there. the LV box behind. Yes, this is beautiful. <laughs> on top of the fridge, on top yeah, of the Pride and Pinion fridge, yeah. fridge. Let me just say this to you. So my wife was very skeptical because mm. all I was doing was making stupid videos and I was buying watches, right? Yes. And she didn't – I must admit, she's a beautiful woman because she actually signed. I said to her, I need to borrow my we, – we paid our Honda a call. This is when it was new. Mm. We, we paid it off because my dad – gave me money and I had mm. small inheritance. So I paid the cord off. The cheapest way to get finance was to use the car as security. So I refinanced mm. the car to get the annual calendar. And believe it or not, that really helped my business. Like, mm. Because it, was, it, was, it wasn't just a normal paddock. It was a paddock with multi-dials. You, was you, you, you understand? It was, it, it, was, it was a great thing to talk about in yeah. that, right? Huge. And now... What happens is, I, I then I had to sell it because she, my wife had an accident. I got the piano. I actually got paid for the piano out of the profits of this buying and selling the watch. Can you believe that? Oh it's my amazing. <laughs> and then I bought it back. Yeah. So technically, I actually had to sell Rolex to buy it back. I sold my I sold my two tone bluesy and my Zenith. Oh yeah, but I remember that. It's not about was that stupid. It's sentimental. That annual calendar to get that back in it's going to stay with me i don't care it's girls a little bit small it's staying with me that's the story and the journey now you I have said, to be happy doing this journey it, exactly it's, now you can't just but what i'm what, what i'm going to say is my wife thought it was freaky i was doing this stuff yeah. and no oh, i don't know what he's doing i just <laughs> covered the bills i didn't really big note myself then the penny dropped. Our marriage was a bit shaky. I'll be, I'll be completely honest with you. She, it's not that she didn't like me, but, you know, I just work, work, work. I, I just had no time for nothing else, okay? Oh, yeah. The penny dropped when I sold, you know, the 6006. That's the paddock. Oh, yeah. The black dial Calatrava. Yes. I sold that. I sold that to Tony Nico. Yes. He's a cool guy. Tony's, Tony's Amazing cool. guy. When I, I had to deliver it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it was another state. It's an air. It, it's thousands of kilometers away from where I live. So I flew down. Because the reason I wanted to do that was to give him the watch so he couldn't renege. <laughs> and if someone's paid for it, I want to give it to them. If I die or something happens, yeah, I don't want to argue. It's an watch. Yeah, and I want to, he paid for it, yeah. give it to him, okay? And when I was down there, I rang her up. Because we we'd been tight, money had always been tight. Yeah. I said, "Honey, how would you feel about getting a Birkin?" Normally, she says, "Nah, I don't really, I don't need it, don't want it." She said, "What color?" You, you know what I mean? She was hooked. My God. And. I actually tried negotiating with the store. This was a consignment store and mm. they wouldn't negotiate or nothing. That's the price, sir. That's it. That's it. And I, I had to pay the price. I actually, I paid 16,000 Aussie. What's that? What's that about? 12,000 US, I think. That's... That was for the black one with the gold hardware. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I bought that for her and... We'd, we'd had a hard life because things were not easy, okay? We, we, we didn't have money, okay? Yeah. And what made it harder for us was she was she wanted kids. We started having kids as soon as we got married. We didn't have enough. If we waited any longer, she couldn't have the kids. Yeah. And she really, really wanted them. Some women don't want. It's whatever they yeah. want, okay? Yeah. I, I, you know, the thing is to then say, do you want a Birkin? Because she's always wanted one, you, you know. You know what I mean? It, it's like it's like want. a it's like a Porsche or, or a yeah. Rolex. Do you want yeah. a Rolex? Of course, I want a Rolex. I want a Rolex since I knew what a Rolex was. <laughs> you, you, That's you, why you I'm know, not you know lying I, that my wife doesn't want one. That's 
No, but but hang on a minute. You've already bought the classic flat. Yeah. Let's be let's be True. completely honest now. I'm, not, no, no, not I'm right serious. Now. Maybe five, no, no, but I mean, I mean years no, but I mean a Chanel classic flat. That's not garbage, okay? Let's yeah, no, just, no, no, no. That's it's nothing. Just that's either. that's kind of like that's all. It, some people like the Birkin. I'm just telling you that that is not garbage. It's not chopped liver. Okay, yeah, <laughs> the classic depends, flat is. You know, depends. Some on people what, like the different. I think depends on what Chan, uh, what Chanel does with the with the. If they make it limited, it might become just as valuable as Birkin. Oh, it, it almost is. It almost yeah. is. But what I'm trying to... It's a different style, okay? Is but what I'm trying to tell you... Yeah. What I'm trying to tell you is... Yeah. With my wife, when I bought the Birkin, she mm. gave me this card. She drew a picture of the Birkin in it and said, we will go traveling. It reaffirmed the love. And I got to be honest with you, things were a bit sketchy. They were yeah. sketchy. It was touch and go there, right? Mm. And uh, I'd, I'd possibly had a few little little wonders, and which didn't go over well. Well, and this instead of spending thirty grand in therapy, psychotherapy it doesn't work. You can therapy plug it work. by a Birkin. So we bought. I wow. became addicted. This is the only problem. But we got the one Birkin, <laughs> the black Birkin. She loved it, right? Yeah. And <laughs> I've even got this photo. Do you want me to show you this photo? Yeah. Just yeah. hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. Right. Well, this is going to be good. <laughs> so this photo here, this was taken when we got the Birkin and we just went in. So we bought the Birkin, then we went back into the city and we got Twillies. Because putting the Twillies on... See, if your Birkin is a horrible fake, they're not going to sell you the Twillies. Yes. And it also, it makes the Birkin her Birkin. Yes. She chose the Twillies. Do you understand? It's like a putting then, a ring on the girlfriend. Then we went for lunch, and I have never seen her smile just content. <laughs> you, 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 you understand yes. what I'm saying? Yes. She's wearing the Rolex too, by the way, the date just Ooh, there. Nice. But she was just absolutely nice. content. You, you know what I mean? I haven't seen that smile in years. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just content. She feels like a movie star. Movie she star. feels like a movie star with her Birkin, you understand? So and funny. I gotta tell you, I went crazy because they had that Birkin, and they also had a pink. Her color is pink. That's her favorite color. You ask what's her color? It's pink. She didn't want the pink Birkin because it's hard to match it with stuff. But if you've already got the pink, if we've already got the black Birkin. Wouldn't it be cool to have the pink as the? You, you, you understand what I mean? So that you can. So if you can't match it with the, if you're not, if you can't match the pink one, you can always grab the black one. Well, the black one, you need the black one as the stable. That's the default, right? It goes with everything. Mm. But if you, but you, if you want to be flamboyant, if you want to be flamboyant one day, just to pip someone, Oof. you have the pink one. And I said to her, I said, this is this is when she was still, I said, honey, this is going to be crazy. How would you feel if we got a second one? And I said to her, I'm only going to buy it if they discount because I'm not paying. Mm. I said, I want a discount. Yeah. So I contacted them and I said, look, this is Designer Archives. I said, look, guys, I bought the first one. You know I'm serious. I see you got a pink one. What can you do for me? They took a 1000 off. They took a 1000 wow. off. It was 14, 14 and a, it was actually a bit cheaper because it was cheap. It was actually much. It, the condition was like new, untouched. Mm. It was a little bit older, but I think it was cheaper because it's not as easy as the black. Everyone wants the black because it's the staple. You know what I mean? It's the little like black, black dress. Rolex. It just goes with everything. We, we got the pink one. Mm. And 
Oh, she just loved it. She loved it. Mind you, she didn't write a card for the pink one. So just guys, <laughs> just be aware of that. It's, it's the law of diminishing returns. Eventually, right. she'll yeah. say, stop, stop clogging the bedroom with these stupid Birkins. <laughs> you know? Where are we going to put all of this? You, you know what I mean? And yeah. I got to tell you, we, 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 we've, um, we've added to it. So, she, so the Birkins she loves... She's still got the garden party. So now she's got a new love for the garden party because mm. it's now part of the Hermes community. You know, community. you can now, because with the, when she, probably, when she had just the garden party, she had to mm -hmm. really take care of it and be really careful. Yeah, she now was that, always conscious of it. Always yeah. very conscious of it. Now with know? the Birkin at home, she can be really, really, it's like her beater. It's like her beater wise. She could be just, Having fun with it, not be so concerned about the condition. Hundred percent. There, it's mm. uh, you're very, very true. There, I'll just bring up a photo there. Mm. This is a photo out with Ooh. the the Birkins there. Out with the that's with the pink, out with the pink <sighs> Birkin there. Movie star. She feels oh like a movie, movie star. star. And we went out to a nice restaurant. That's 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 just. The, the nice restaurant has the beautiful view of the city. Wow. Movie star. Do you understand? Movie star. Amazing. And I got to tell you, so she loves the pink. Mm. Um, and, you know, the, the whole thing is with these, these, these Birkins and that there. See, we've got a little, we've got a little, little Hermes community little hermes community see i'll show you that's the three we got the ah. red garden party the pink birkin and the black birkin see so you got a little oh. we hadn't put twillies on this one yet so you had twilly oh, okay. list then we made a special occasion we dressed up we mm. went to the the hermes store and we got the the twillies you know it was a good yes. day out you, you you see what i'm saying it was you a nice a day out with when you buy the birkin and then you have a Ex second day out when you when you get the, the twillies the twillies on it you see you see That's what i'm saying it's 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 incredible. kind of how it works there the twi they love the twillies you know the yeah. twillies are very as i as you said tim it makes it her birkin you understand the twillies that makes it, it goes from being a Birkin to her Birkin. You, you, oh, you yeah. see what I mean? It's so, it's so important. Mm. And um, I, I got to tell you there, Tim, it's, um, I'm going to show you another photo. Mm. So recently, I got to be honest with you, I'm actually doing very well. Okay. okay. I'm not getting cocky. I'm not buying a Ferrari <laughs> or a BMW. I've still got the Honda with 200,000 kilometers on it, mm. but I want to show you this next photo because this, this was actually, I haven't quite announced it on the show, but I'll, I'll, me and you, we're just having a little, okay. little spot here. We'll have a little, I'll share this, this. The inner circle. Inner circle. Exactly. For the super fans. So uh, have a look at this photo here, right? Mm -hmm. And this is when I made $2,000 on the weekend. And I and I actually took thirteen hundred out of a high rate credit card, but I'm going to pay it back next month. <laughs> yeah, right, okay? right, right. We're in Cartier. Mm. This is Cartier Brisbane. Mm -hmm. We're sipping the champagne. Mm -hmm. She's got her pink nice. Birkin. You see the Birkin there? Beautiful. Oh, you already got the twirlies on this one. The twirlies are no. This is Brilliant. that's the same one. This that's the same one yeah, with yeah, twirlies. Yeah, yeah. And we're about to buy Cartier earrings. Well, we've, we've already chosen them. We're just waiting for yeah. our sales associate to be free. We're mm. just enjoying the store. Mm. See, this is when, I mean, look, I've never really had much money. Things have been really tough. Mm. That's her banwa. Mm. She's wearing the banwa oh. here. I don't know if you see that there. The ban and she's wearing the. I bought her because we used to just buy Target. That's like a yeah. Walmart clothes. She's wearing a Ralph Lauren jumper. You see that there? Beautiful. And That's not the one with get... the bear. It's no, no. One. This is another one because yeah. we bought a few jumpers. But this is not as expensive as the bear. Right. But she, she, she... you oh, don't need good. to show the bear off all the time because it'll wear <laughs> out. You know what I mean? That was. Yes. 
you know, that bear is actually 500 bucks. I don't know if you know that. The bear one is actually ridiculous. It's the, she's there in Cartier mm. waiting for her Trinity earring, earrings to be boxed. Mm, Trinity earrings. You see, she's now living the movie star life. Wow. You understand wow. what I mean? Trinity. You understand what I mean? That's so beautiful. I, I just wanted to, yeah, I haven't actually announced this on the channel. This is because let's face it. No one's going to watch the elite <laughs> luxury channel. So I can, I can tell you things that uh, I normally wouldn't say. The other thing mm. we did is, you know, when we got married, Tim, we, we spent our wedding cost us $3,000. That was engagement ring, mm. wedding bands, Wow. dress the food at the reception the film for the camera because i didn't have a photographer i just bought film i borrowed my ex-wife's which i paid for originally camera it was a nikon it was a nikon i borrowed the nikon because i didn't have one i had to borrow hers and i also um it was was three thousand bucks all up wow we never had an expensive wedding ring we just got mm. a a a it was a very cheap generic white gold mm. sort of uh washer just just a, it yeah. was it, it wasn't terrible it was just it is what it is okay let me just say that okay money was tight oh, money yeah. was exceptionally tight do you do you understand i mean we're not always you know made of moolah we're not mm. always made of moolah and um i'm going to show you something really personal here tim i'm going to show you something personal and uh here we go da -da -da -da. oh that's so this the here no it's not the earrings not this the this earrings. was actually before the earrings i actually bought a love oh, ring, rose gold the, love the ring. Diamonds. One diamond. Okay, One let's diamond. not push it. I didn't okay. make that much, <laughs> okay, Tim. Yeah. Okay, it's got the single diamond there. It's rose wow. gold. Rose gold, beautiful. Because that's what she always wanted. Whoops, go back wow. there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the band white is also rose gold or it's yellow gold? No, it's yellow gold. Yellow gold. But guess what, Tim? It makes it Trinity. Trinity is all three. Three or three, three. Oh. You know what I'm saying? The three. Ah. Oh. We're gonna she get something, something in white. She needs something in white. She needs the the bracelet in white gold. Yeah, and <gasps> and maybe maybe I could substitute with that with silver from Tiffany or, or silver, silver. Works. I'm joking. I'm just I'm teasing, teasing you. Teasing you. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look, 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 let's just slow down there. But what I'm saying is, I got her. We'd never now, mm -hmm. just to show what a good woman she is, right? Mm -hmm. I said to her. She always wanted a Cartier wedding ring. Mm. Mm. I gave her a choice. We can buy a brand new Cartier w wedding ring. Mm. No diamonds. Mm. This was a pre-owned one from Designer Archives. <gasps> so it was 3200 retail. They were selling it for 2500 I asked them for a discount. They would do it for 22 if I wanted the standard Cartier ring with no diamond, I think it was 1900. Wow. So I said to her, what do you want? She said, let's go the pre-owned because you get the diamond. Of course. That's does incredible. that make sense? It doesn't matter that it may be a divorce ring. Does that really matter? Who cares? Who cares? And whilst we're here talking romantic things, I wrote a beautiful card for her. Mm. I did say to her, however, in the card that, you know, I do want intimate relations to continue, okay? <laughs> as, it's very... It wouldn't be Archie when, card. If that's, it <laughs> that's that's when you've, you've got to do this. You've got to ask for these things when you give these expensive gifts because let's uh, be honest there. I'm not giving these. So I'll just, I'll just skip through these. I want to... Whoops, sorry. Well, okay. I, it's nothing embarrassing what that's, I said yeah, there. Yeah. I just said... I, look, I said, I said, for my darling, da-da-da, finally the w wedding ring you deserve... I mean, there's nothing wrong with that there. What do you yeah. think, Tim? That's cool, no, that's, isn't it? That's beautiful. 
I said to her, finally, the wedding ring you deserve. Uh, if we combine the passion of 2005 with the money of 2021, mm. I will buy you many more gifts. And I just mm. said, the sex is very important to me. Is that, that's, <laughs> just, that's quite okay, isn't it? It's and there we go. That's, that's the envelope. And I put the little Cartier screw there. You see that? Oh, I didn't know what that was. Because oh, it's, 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 it's the love beautiful. screw. You know the love screw? The Santos, the Santos screw. Well, that's part of the love ring. You, right. you, you know what I'm saying, okay? Yes. So that's, I want to show you something else there, just quickly, just snipping through this is these a great photos. Tips for, men, uh, for the men who are watching. When, when I got married, by the way, I had nothing. I want to tell you this mm. story, Tim. Because, mm. see, with jewelry and watches, it's not just the physical item, it's the story, the backstory, okay? Let me tell you this. So 2004, I'd actually spent, okay, it's a long story, but basically on my Platinum American Express card, I owed $100,000, okay? And you had to pay it off every month. The, the wheels crazy. had come. <laughs> I what? sold all my stock off and I still owed 50, okay? But, but let's just, anyhow, I managed to, look, I got equity out of the house that I owned with my wife and I lost my house. And then I started, working again i was mm. driving taxis it, it was a desire life was hard okay yeah. then i found my wife my total net worth this was in 2000 i gave her this ring in 2004 actually i'll tell you what happened i went out the first date december 16th mm. 2004? 2004 the second date was boxing day that's Jan december 26th 2004 third date was december 30. Mm. okay it was before christmas eve okay okay before new year's new before, before new year's year. new new year's eve before before one day before one day before yes and i said to her because she was a very classy woman she wasn't rubbish you know how you meet yeah. a woman some women you think ah oh, yeah they're just floozy yeah 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 but this was a quality person you know what i mean mm. like really quality you know what i mean mm. i had no money okay mm. i'd actually i'd actually had a little bit in savings but i, I when i say I had i still had thirty thousand in credit card debt i was living in my dad's rental house rent free Whew. okay and shit did he annoy me let me tell you this tim <laughs> i'd be driving the taxi right i'd come home from work like I just got home at 4 a.m. sleeping. He'd come in at 9 trying to get something out of the house, you know, and wake you up and <laughs> you go, what are you doing sleeping? I've been dr sleep driving all night, Dad. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Yes. He was never yes. quiet. He always, he'd always go and use the toilet. And he'd, he'd... It's the same situation with I'm me. Sorry. Right? I'm exactly sorry. I'm sorry. You want yeah. the same yeah. right now. Yeah. Anyhow, I had nothing, right? I had nothing. Oh the only thing I had... When I was flying high, mm. I'd actually bought this antique bracelet. Mm. It was the only thing of value I had. Mm. I had sorry, I had a Cartier basculet, tank basculet in steel. Okay. And I had this bracelet. Wow. I'm gonna show wow. the bracelet to you here. It's not a Cartier bracelet, but it mm. looks it's actually it's an antique. It's mm. a, it looks very similar to the love bracelet. Yes. It's very beautiful. So this was actually 1910. It's an Australian jeweler in Sydney in market street. Cause I, I had somebody who told me what the, this was years later. He told me exactly when it was made and who made it and what it wow. is. Wow. It's actually worth about 20,000 now. Okay. 20,000 Aussie. Cause it's got two half wow. carat diamonds and a natural emerald. And it's got 36 grams of 18 karat yellow gold. Wow. And it and it's beautiful. It's 1910, gorgeous. it's Edwardian. It's, it's, it, does, it still looks modern for today. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Timeless, timeless. On it's the 30th. Okay, so I, so I slept with her on the 30th. I asked her to marry me. I asked her to marry me first. And then I slept with her that night. And in the morning, I said, I have, I don't have a ring. I got something mm -hmm. more special. So I'll get mm. you a ring. I'll get you an engagement ring. Mm. But I got something really special. And I went home. I came back the next night. And I mm. presented her with this bracelet. Wow. wow. And the bracelet, <clears throat> it was an antique. It's got two 
they're old cut European diamonds because it's an old piece. And that's that's the that's the story of the bracelet. You see, these it's always it's Beautiful always story, more about it's more about this than i'll just show you some so that it's it's a beautiful mm. it's old cut mm. it's wow an amazing piece and uh just wow. oh, oh. so that that's the story of the bracelet so that's kind of like our engagement Incredible. ring there engagement gift okay yeah and this here that's her two look she's got a couple watches mm. but these are the two best ones yes. a banwa cartier banwa and the rolex two-tone date just beautiful and uh, that's actually it's one of my briefcases there. It's mm -hmm. another thing. But I I'm just telling one. telling you the story, wow. Tim. That's the story. It's always it's the back story that oh, makes it special. About the story, Arch. <clears throat> and I gotta I tell that. you. Jeez. I when I saw her, I had, I was actually going out with some other women. <clears throat> I gotta be honest with you. <clears throat> it's You're like, looking. When you're dating, when you're dating, you don't just like like when you're applying for jobs, you don't mm. just put one resume out yeah. and then you wait six weeks for them to come back to you yeah, and you apply for the next up. job. You yeah. put five resumes out, ten resumes at a time, right? Mm. I was dating a few I've just gone out a few dates, uh, mm. you know. But this woman here was quality. Do you understand? This was a quality and I thought I really don't have a chance in hell with this woman. Yeah. And I thought, right, I'm going to stump up this bracelet, right? Wow. Which is actually, it's it's it was it was a it's it's a very va it's a beautiful thing as well. Not just yeah. valuable; it's beautiful. Do you know why I gave her this antique heirloom? Do you know why? So that you are going to be on the straight and narrow. No, it no? was because it could knock the competition out of the game <laughs> you think about it you're giving someone a beautiful yes. thing you're the lead candidate mm. you see what i'm saying or not wow this is how you fight nobody so, give her anything like this before this is well no no exactly it's just not even made to, it's just... and, and, and that's the thing today see i had to be ferocious concentrate on youtube Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Mm. Now the money's coming in. The blue velvet gigs can be forgotten. <laughs> I needed the money at the time. Yes. And now we can forgive the sins by giving the beautiful gifts. Wow. And at the end of the day, She's now got the Birkins, Birkins, two Birkins, a garden party, some LVs, mm. and it's it's this is this is as this is all you need to do for the redemption. Do you, do you see what I mean? I don't mean to be nasty wow. when I say money can solve problems. Money doesn't. Money can create problems, but if yeah. you money is a fantastic tool, which you can use to um it's a fantastic tool which you can actually use to solve certain situations now i'd like to show you something i'm just going to show you this thing here quickly mm -hmm. i'm going to show you this here i'm going to show you i just want to show this to you because um it's it captures i'm trying to capture the moment do you understand i'm trying to capture the yeah. moments see this is all important the moments you see that's it's that's very good that you take pictures of everything that's yeah well i'm incredible. trying to document it i'm trying to yeah. monetize it Tim. you, you, under, <laughs> you, 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 that, you yeah. understand there so i'm just showing this is the the earrings coming out have a look this is when they've just come out to present it to you She's got the champagne. I'm drinking the water. Do you notice that? Yes. I'm on, a, I'm on the non-drinking binge. That's going to be very important. Da -da. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. She's got, look at this. Da -da -da -da. Oh, she's wearing her bracelet. Oh, my God. Yes. That's the earrings. That's the Trinity earrings. 
Wow. The lighting's not great. You can't yes, see them you fantastically. Can't see them. Yeah, it's yes, a bit yes, too bright, yes, but I'm just saying, look at that. She her you... her eyes, she sees it. Yeah. She's wearing the cardi yeah. We're at I the Mason. Look at the smile there. She's Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's what it's that's... all about. Do you do you do you oh understand there? That is what it's all about. Incredible. It's all about the See, that's a memory. See, you will never lose mm. that memory, will you? You always remember going to Cartier and my husband, even though he may have had a few little flings on the side a couple of years ago and, you know, it was embarrassing text messages were sent through when she was checking the phone. Mm. The important thing is at the end of the day, she will remember going into Cartier as a movie star. Who made the movies? Who was her Harry Weinstein? And that's me. You see what I'm saying or not? Yeah. Who made this fantasy possible? And that's that's kind of where it... Do, 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 do you see what I'm saying, Tim? This oh, is yeah. where the fantasy... <clears throat> you've got to get okay. the fantasy... Uh, I mean, I, I think the Cartier itself there is probably the best fantasy to have there i mean look there's tiffany tiffany's a great jeweler mm. you know we went to tiffany's i think it's slightly for a larger lady like my mm. wife's very petite so mm. you've got certain things go with certain people the tiffany stuff seemed to be a little bit better if if, if you were you know american proportions you, mm. you, you know what i mean super size you know yeah it's sort of you know that's just 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 how it goes and the 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 thing is tim you know, we've started our own legacy. You've got to start your own, your own legacy, Tim. I'll show That's you great. here, Tim. I'll just bring this one. We'll almost wrap up this baby in a minute. I just want to share one thing with you here. Da 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 da. Because in the prior weeks, my God. to the the That's... prior weeks. <clears throat> to getting the Gorgeous. starting starting the jewelry request wow. we got the louis vuitton jewelry box and yes. you notice this i tell you something what happened was i got the watch box you know the story you helped raise the I funds worked my ass you off. worked your ass you off now i actually I look at this you that you need that i convinced you 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 were whinging you didn't think you needed the thing is, my wife, when we went to the VIP room because we'd bought this, I said, was there anything you'd ever want? She said, the only thing I'd ever want would be a jewelry box. She actually picked, she did say to me she wanted the fuchsia because they do the jewelry box in red interior or fuchsia. Fuchsia is like a purpley mm -hmm. color, okay? Mm -hmm. But guess what, Tim? Guess what? what? I got the red one. Yes. Then I managed to track this one down in Japan, pre-owned for, uh, for a good price. If considering it's one year old, it's like mint. It's mint. Beautiful. It's got the red interior, but you know what? Here's in Heinz. In Heinz, but it gets better. Yeah. Yeah. She's now started her Cartier quest. Oh. What is the house color of Cartier? It's not fuchsia. Red. It's red. Do you understand or not? gorgeous and that's yeah. the yin and the yang of the universe you know what i mean it kind of it all comes together well wow so when this photo was taken we hadn't got the two cardiac so the cardiac pieces were the 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 ring the love ring and the earrings oh. so they hadn't got them yet so can you see this is now the this is how the collection is growing there you this see what i'm saying work this is live a yeah. life it's a lot of money I'm, I'm, i must tell you there's a lot of money right and, and the sure. other thing is too i'm actually investing in the elite luxury channel because mm. i need stock to yeah. display in the channel you know you've mm. got to have some stuff that you need some amazing stuff you need yes. that sort of st i'm trying to capture the stories yes. to explain the elite luxury oh. situation that's what i'm i am like, trying to the do most incredible conversation i've had with you see people don't 
see this side of Archie. The love. No, no, no. Because I can't show it to them. Because they think I'm, they'll think I'm not manly enough. They, they, they'll think, you know, you, you know, you know what it's like. It's very, I, very, very tough there. They don't think I, you're manly enough, or yeah, you, you know what I mean. It's, it's. Um, this is good for your. For your head, but but I can't I can't display that to the men because it's a very no, 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 it's a brutal to... it's a brutal market it's a brutal you got to have a certain image and pache you know you got to yeah. be tough you got to oh, yeah. be fighting each other they want mm. it's gladiator you know what Gladi I mean the gladiators sports, yeah. you know but I'm just saying with my softer side Tim you look at those two boxes there see. She actually, I'll tell you this little story. We'll wind this interview up soon. Mm. I wanted to reconnect with her and be really passionate like we were when we first married. And she said to me, you have been out of this marriage for the last 10 years. That's what she said, because we've been married 16 years. She wow. said, you've been out of it for 16 years. You had other people. You had this. You had that. She, she accused me of a lot of things. Never admit to any of this guilt, by the way, Tim. Just just as a side okay. note, never admit to any of this guilt. Gotcha. But I said to her, I always loved you. I want to be close. Mm. She never really believed me. Yeah. You throw 50 grand at these women, <laughs> solves all the problems. <laughs> Does that make sense to you or not? Of course. You I mean, can. It's, it's... She is Commitment. a good woman. I'll be completely honest with you. It's She's not just actually fifty thousand dollars, sorry. That's you know, you worked hard. Hard. That's your Well, some of it was actually put on energy. credit cards, so I'm gonna work very hard. <laughs> You'll work it up. Yeah. Some of it was, was a little bit on finance, okay? Let's not okay. let's not bullshit each other finance? here, okay? <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bit of finance. But you can see the story. Can you mm. see the story? The Archie luxury story can you see incredible. it's incredible. the story here my god and y y you know i gotta be totally honest with you tim mm. it's um it, it life life li it's it, it is hard it's hard it's hard you know it's it's very it's very hard life life it ain't easy all the time mm. um um it's it is tough I'm just gonna find this there you go look at that mm. Bear. With bear jumper, look at that. The bear, bear jumper, look at that. The bear jumper, Canadian bear, Canadian. Look at the. You know how hard it was to find the one with the Canadian flag. I mean, they oh. had every bloody other one besides <laughs> the Canadian flag. Don't even ask what had to be done to get the Canadian flag. But do you understand, Tim? This is the. I don't think you should give things. It's not going to solve a crappy relationship, mm. but it can help. It's like you've got a good building, but it's got some really serious structural problems. Yeah. This can fix it. But yeah. if it was a piece of shit to start with, it'll always oh, be yeah. a piece of shit. Does oh, yeah. that make sense? Definitely. Definitely. And that's the thing, you know. So, Tim, that's the luxury story for today on Elite Luxury. My God. And uh, it's been a pleasure to interview you. It and, was uh, a don't, pleasure. Don't tell... Don't tell the guys okay. on the other channels about this this little soft side because you know Tim, it's it's not really. I don't want them to see it because they'll make fun of me and poke don't worry fun. Worry about it. And, on the other channel, know, we'll, we'll keep fighting. We we'll just we we'll just keep. Fighting. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, it's, it's going great. good, Tim. It's My going God. good. Okay, Tim. I will just end that there. Thank you so much, Tim.
through the wreckage. You should go look for the exit. New sheriff in town, I get a little reckless. Mr. Memo, go check the message. I ain't then came back for seconds. I ain't seen your fake little necklace. Lifestyle decrepit, I should probably expect this. Too much game. 